Welcome back. You're still watching Metrophile on Channel Television. If you just joined us, well, you missed a lot, but thank you also for joining us. Now we move over to our war in Ondo State to celebrate renowned photojournalists talking about Mr. Saka Olawande Kasumu, who was laid to rest in his hometown, Owo. <laughs> Saka Olawande Kasumu, a popular photojournalist in the 60s with the Daily Times newspapers. He is one Nigerian who is recognized by many to be hardworking and dedicated in the line of duty. In the course of his job, Mr. Kasumu documented in pictures some defining moments in Nigeria's history, which to date remains priceless archival materials that tells real stories about Nigeria. Sadly, on the 8th of January 2015, Saka Olawande Kasumu passed on to glory. As the family patriarch, relatives, friends and well-wishers from far and wide joined the immediate family in Omo Undo State for the final home journey of the late Park Kasumu. The program of events commenced with a service of songs for the deceased held at his country home, an evening where his wife, Olabisi, accompanied by her children and other family members, came together to celebrate him for a life well spent. Kasumu is survived by his children, including Olakunle Kasumu, the presenter of Channel's Book Club on Channel's Television. as a shock, you know, it was just a mixed feelings because um, considering that in the last eight years, um, he has, um, how would I put it, his limbs had failed him. But I guess that um, we give glory to God. At least in his heydays, as we would say, that was all over the place. The tributes continue to pour in, in words and in songs. <laughs> He gave me so many words of knowledge, so many words of encouragement. And that when I was having some meetings at my place of work, he told me not to fear anybody, but I should do what I have to do. I should respect. And where I need to speak out, I should speak out. He put so much confidence in me. And you know, it's helping me to do <laughs> In less than 24 hours, there was a brief light in state in his residential compound. And at about 10 a.m., the funeral service commenced at the same venue. During the service, Reverend Elekima Ekine, 
who the lead of the sermon expressed joy, the Pakasimu lived a worthy life and is now resting in the bosom of the Lord. He's resting. He's been resting for some months now. He's no longer in that casket. No, he's not the one there. That's the house he wore. That's the house he put on while on this earth. He has woken up in the presence of his maker. For the family, they are taking solace in the fact that their father lived an impactful life. <laughs> The brief service came to an end, and thereafter, the remains of Park Hasimu was interred at his residence. The Arua Joy Civic Center in Omo was the venue of the reception. Guests were hosted, and the Omo traditional dance troupe was on hand to entertain everyone. He was very important in helping to document Nigeria's history, particularly the events of the Civil War. You know, I really appreciate him for that, and I believe the country appreciates him for that too. As attested to by people who attended the funeral, Pak Hasimu lived well, served his family and country Nigeria, hence she'll be celebrated and not moved. <laughs> Late Pasaka Kasimu was born in Owo Odo State on January 25, 1940. After his primary and secondary education, Young Saka was trained as a professional photographer in Lagos, after which he took up a job as a photojournalist with the Daily Times of Nigeria in 1963. The job at Daily Times placed Saka Kasumu right in the middle of some of the most critical political events of Nigeria's history, including the first and second military coups, the fallout killings in northern Nigeria, and eventually the civil war of 1967. All Saka on Lawande Kasumu's work were documented in pictures. His job took him to three war fronts, Benin, Enugu, and Port Harcourt, and put him in the company of military combatants in the most dangerous zones of the war. His singular mission was to capture the events and let the world see the war through the lens of his camera, and he did it bravely, capturing the Biafran leader, Chukwemeka Odumebu Ochu. In the line of duty, he met and worked with prominent military officers in Nigeria, like the commanding officer of the 3rd Marine Commando of the Nigerian Army, Brigadier Benjamin Adekunle, General Olusegun Basinjo, and General Yakubu Gowan. He passed on at the age of 75. He survived by his wife, seven children, and 14 grandchildren. A hero in his own right. May his soul rest in peace. Well, I'm so fascinated about those priceless archival pictures that tell a lot of stories about our history. That's great, because some Nigerians are not used to documenting things. But it's great to see that. At least you have things to show your future generation. Yeah. Right. But this is where we draw the cuttings on today's edition of Metro File. But if you find this interesting and you found other episodes interesting, very simple. Go to our website at channelstv.com. Via our YouTube channel, you can watch us 
from there. Thank you so much for being a part of the show. Our Twitter handle is also running right on your screen, so follow us. I'm Anne Mwawadu. And I'm Ogich Kwasi. Thank you for watching.